Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to use one of the most useful and versatile attachments for your shipping containers using domino clamps, and that's this, the vertical steel tube clamp. This accessory is the cornerstone of many of the kits available in our web shop for CCTV, signage, floodlights, and is a really important and versatile connection point to attach steel tube vertically to a shipping container. And they're really easy to use as well. Once you've got your domino clamp in place, all you need to do is bolt any one of these onto the domino clamp to be able to attach a range of different sized metal tube or pipe to your shipping container. First off, let's talk about sizes. We have three different sizes of these available in the web shop in 48, 42 and 34 millimeter diameter pipe. That is one and a half inch, one and a quarter inch and one inch pipe in the States and each one has exactly the same bolt spacing which lines up nicely with either of the pairs of holes on our domino clamp. If you need any further clarification about the differences between uh, the metric and imperial sizes, uh, check the comments below. There's a link through to a blog that will tell you all about that. For this version, we're going to use the 48 millimeter version. It's the most popular, the most common, very easy to source. Here's your uh, the pipe we're talking about, uh, 3.2, uh, I think, millimeter wall here, nice strong stuff, very readily available, and that will be the cornerstone of everything that we're about to show you here. So first off, I'm going to attach a domino clamp here to the top corner of a shipping container. If you haven't seen how to do that already, you can see our one minute explainer video, which there'll be a link around about there somewhere. I'm going to line up the tube clamp with either the top set or the lower set of the two M12 threads, doesn't matter which, and then bolt them in using the M12 screws and washers that we provide with each one. Once this is done up nice and tight, we can drop in a 48 millimeter scaffolding tube, steel or aluminium, into the tube clamp and then do up these two grub screws with an eight millimeter hex key. This is where aluminium tubes really come into their own sometimes because these grub screws really bite into the alley. Once this is in place, as you can see, you've got a really rigid and versatile fixing point for a whole manner of things. CCTV, flood lighting, signage, all of which, as it happens, we have skits available for in our web shop, each one with an 80 centimeter aluminum tube. If you have an extra heavy duty application for this that needs to go higher than 80 centimeters or carry significant weight, then we've got one last trick up our sleeve to make that happen for you. Let's show you how. So what we have here is an adapted version of this clamp here. And as you can see, where this ridge at the bottom that's designed to support the tube on the underside. On this one, we've had that board out so that the tube can pass all the way through. So, for a really long scaffolding tube, what we're going to do is attach one of these down the bottom, support the weight, one of these up top to allow the tube to pass all the way through from underneath, way up above the shipping container. So these two are available in our web shop as a pair. They both come with the M12 by 30 screws and washers. And as I mentioned earlier, they are also available in the other two sizes. That's 42 and 34 millimeter diameter. So this will require a domino clamp on the lower corner casting and one directly above. We'll then attach the unboard clamp, which won't let the tube clamp pass through it, remember, to the bottom and the board one, which will allow the tube to pass through to the one above. The trick here, especially if you are on your own, is to just put one bolt into the corner of this top board through casting, and then you can feed your tube up and underneath through the top and then straighten it up lower into the lower tube clamp. Now you can put in the remaining screw into the domino clamp, get them nice and tight. Do up the grub screws as well. Now with two fixing points, top and bottom, you've got a really, really strong fixing point for much higher poles, floodlights, multiple CCTV cameras, communications equipment and so on. Have a look in the comments below. There's a link there that'll take you through to a blog on our website and give you some ideas about how you can use this full length pole so that rounds up our explainer of how to attach vertical steel tube or pipe to a shipping container. Uh, there's two different ways, as you've seen, both are available in our web shop and available for distribution all around the world.
Hit the subscribe button below for more information about shipping containers and how to use domino clamps. We're on other socials as well, as ever, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, always forward slash domino clamps. And until the next time, I give you some useful information about shipping containers. Happy clamping.